Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and joining me today is David Mettler of T5 Data Centers, a data center leader reimagining the future of digital infrastructure. David, welcome. Thank you, Buffy. Great to be here. Yeah, absolutely. It's an honor to see you here uh, in the French Riviera for a Data Cloud Global Congress 2024. So why don't you tell viewers a little bit more about why T5 is here? Sure, I'd be glad to. Uh, we're excited to be here in Cannes. It's uh, sunny and warm and very much enjoying it. Uh, we're here to talk a lot about our operational services, our construction services, and how we can help uh, companies that are building data centers right now in Europe, how we can help operate them for them. Uh, and it's been great. We, we operate data centers right now in Europe and we're expanding uh, our presence here. And we've had a number of really exciting conversations with um, companies that are growing their, uh, you know, their capability set here. And it's fun to be part of that ecosystem where we can provide our services to, to help them. Yeah, well, great to see you here Thank in you. Cannes and uh, amazing things that you guys are doing here in the European market. Yes. Uh, everyone here is talking about high density compute needs, liquid cooling. Tell us what T5 is doing in that arena. Sure, I'd be glad to. You know, we service uh, the full range of customers and many of our customers today are looking at AI deployments with GPUs in high density environments. Uh, in fact, we have customers today who are doing liquid cooling. Uh, we are uh, delivering that in our um, our data center in Silicon Valley today for a customer. Uh, we're designing uh, liquid cooling solutions into a built-to-suit data center in our Charlotte campus uh, at, at a 780 watt per square foot density. So it's going to be about 80 kilowatts of cabinet, and it's going to be ramping up from there. Uh, so you know we're we're very familiar with. The, uh, the high density uh, drivers that are leading to liquid cooling technologies. And you know we're thinking about it holistically. So it's, there's the upfront design, there's the implementation, and then there's the ongoing operations. And all of those come into focus with T5 because we build data centers and we operate data centers. And so we understand how those all come together. And it's top of mind for all the customers that we're talking to today. You know, another area where it comes in is our customers who own data centers that are maybe older and need to be upgraded to accommodate liquid cooling. We're seeing those kind of requirements come in and we're helping them do that. It's definitely needed, especially as we work together to achieve greener data Yes. Uh, globally, of course. And speaking, we're in Europe, but let's head back to the United States for a second and talk about this expansion news in the Chicago suburbs with the 480 megawatt data center campus. Definitely a mega campus. Uh, why don't you tell our viewers listening about this expansion? Yeah, well, I'd be, I'd be glad to. And Buffy, I appreciated the fact that when we started off, you asked me, is 480 correct? Right? <laughs> is, is that the right number? It's definitely a, it, it, a it, mega it, campus. It is, indeed. And, and yeah, we're very excited to announce our Grays Lake, uh, Illinois campus coming online. Grays Lake is about 30 miles north of uh, Chicago. And um, it will be 160 acres. Uh, we've got a, a, an over 800 megawatt substation that we're going to be constructing uh, and bringing on 480 megawatts over time in stages. Uh, and we're very excited to, you know, to bring that capacity to the market because our customers are asking for mm -hmm. that type of power infrastructure and the ability that we have to, to sit with them and talk about how they would want to take that. You know, do they want a build-a-suit turnkey delivery? Do they want build-a-suit powered shells? Uh, we have the, you know, we're, we're set up to deliver to them exactly what they want. Uh, and those are the exciting conversations that we're having right now. Sounds exciting. It sounds like definitely some tailored solutions available. Correct. Yeah. yeah I mean, that's, from a development perspective, our focus really is on the a select group of large campuses that we're going to be filling in over time. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, these campuses have the ability to add power as well. As I said, we're, we, you know, we announced 480 megawatts, but the substation will be significantly more than that. So we'll be able to grow that site uh, in the future as well. A scalable that's mega right. facility yeah, uh, there in the Chicago suburbs. Uh, but that's not the only news you have. So much news coming out of T5. Tell us a little bit more about Northern Virginia, what you have going on there. Sure. Well, we, uh, we 
We did a little LinkedIn post just announcing okay. that we uh, we secured a, a customer win for our construction services business line. So with our construction services team, we have a customer who's got a large campus in Northern Virginia. They had a very aggressive timeline to do a data hall fit out project. Concurrent with that, they needed to have duct banks put in between two buildings and all the fiber run between the duct banks. Our team was able to come alongside them, figure out the way to staff the schedule and make sure that we could deliver on time to them and within budget. And we were awarded the job. And so we're excited to be delivering that project to them in Northern Virginia. Congratulations. That's amazing news. I mean, time to power, uh, rapid availability that, is right. important. And the fact that you guys could uh, make that happen for your client in Northern Virginia, one of the top data center markets is truly uh, remarkable. Well, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Is there anything else you wanted to add, David? No, you know, I think um, it's very exciting time uh, in the market. It is. It, there's, you know, being at a conference like this, which is very well attended, right? Uh, and hearing about all of the different, um, all the different ecosystem members within data centers, right? That are coming together to try to provide solutions. And we're all dealing with similar challenges. And so I, from a T5 perspective, we feel like we're very well placed to help people who are dealing with those challenges right now whether it be on the development side, construction, or operations. Um, you know, we're excited to be where we are. Or in, or in the Americas, or in, in America, Europe. In Europe, and in fact, uh, just before this, I had a meeting where we were talking about Asia. So Asia, you know, we'll, we'll go, the reason, we're, the reason we're in Europe is because our customers asked us to come here, and that will very much be the case with Asia as well. Well, congratulations. Thank it's you, so Buffy. great to see all this exciting news and growth coming out of the T5 brand. Thank you. Uh, great to see you here in Khan And viewers, thank you for tuning in to another episode of JSA TV from Data Cloud Global Congress in the beautiful French Riviera. Stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking.